The Invention of Hugo Cabret, Part 2, Chapter 12, Winding It Up. The uh, time can play all sorts of tricks on you. In the blink of an eye, babies appear in carriages, coffins disappear into the ground, wars are won and lost, and children transform like butterflies into adults. That's what happened to me. Once upon a time, I was a boy named Hugo Cabret, and I desperately believed that a broken automaton would save my life. Now that my cocoon has fallen away and I have emerged as a magician named Professor Alco Frisbos, I can look back and see that I was right. The automaton my father discovered did save me. But now I have built a new automaton. I spent countless hours designing it. I made every gear myself, carefully cut every brass disc, and fashioned every last bit of machinery with my own hands. When you wind it up, it can do something I'm sure no other automaton in the world can do. It can tell you the incredible story of Georges Méliès, his wife, their goddaughter, and a beloved clockmaker whose son grew up to be a magician. The complicated machinery inside my automaton can produce 158 different pictures, and it can write letter by letter an entire story, 26,159 words, these words. The end.